Okay. Slowly knocking these things out little by little, bit by bit. Around the farm. Oh, there's an there's an exclamation mark underneath that shard. Want to try to go around and maybe pick up the landmark and get the shards? Yeah, let's try to do the stuff that's around this immediate area. How does that sound? And then we can move on to something else. Let's try that out. Hello, Druffalo. I'm going the wrong way already. Wait, 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 wait. It's, uh... Can I go up the mountain like this? Yup, yup, yup. Oh, look, a nice skull. Oh no, this is the ocularum that we used before. Yeah. Thank you, but no thank you. Alrighty, some shards here. Were we just riding here? Whoa! This guy scared me. Came out of nowhere. Here is a shard. What do I do with the shards? Is it just a collectible? I don't know. Maybe we'll find some use for it later on. Wait, 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 wait. I might want to go a little bit further up on the mountain. Apparently that's where the exclamation mark is too. Ooh, not here. Even more around? Can we go around more? Kinda doesn't feel like it. I might have to go like... All the way... Ooh, oh, no. Okay, we have... Dead Ram Grove. Oh no. Is there ram meat here? Can we get some ram meat here? That'd be cool. There you go. Somebody's stuff. No dead bodies. Oh. A note found on a corpse. I don't see the corpse. Burgrit. It'll be worth it. You worry too much. I've seen you hunt. You and that bow go together like the maker and Andrasi's sweet bosom. <laughs> and there's nothing in this world that'll keep breathing after you take your racks to it. And believe me, once you've gone enough of the bear claws, and remember, they need to be big, real good-sized ones, I don't want you coming back with some cub slashers and a sad dog grin on your face. We'll make something that'll make both of us rich. Think of the girls in Redcliffe hanging on your arm, Burgrit. It's a strong arm, my friend. Strong enough to kill three bears and bring those claws back. You take care of that, and that arm will have a nice lady to wrap around at night. Good luck. Don't come back without the claws, Jasker. Did both of them die? Seems likely. There's another landmark here. I can't tell if it added something new, though. Here. Yeah, I did. It's way... it's out of the way. Can I climb up here? No, not how this works. Okay. We have to go around the right and proper way. That rift. Probably pretty annoying. But we might... I don't want to slide down because what about that? Oh, gotta go around like that maybe? Okay. Wow, did you see that? I just cast the barrier and then it, I just happened to teleport out of range. Okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. What else can I say? Right, it's up there now, but I'm a little bit too low because I gotta wrap around or something. Can I do this one? Yeah, I can. Level 5. Get him! Get this crap. Are y'all here? Why am I alone? Dude, why am I alone? Where are my friends? Okay, I'm serious. Where are they? Where do they go? Oh my god. Okay, um, Cassandra, you might want to come down here because you probably aren't helping me by being up there. <gasps> you all need to come! You all need to come! How do I make all of you come? Tactic mode. Cassandra? 
Yeah, 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 you guys have got to come down. The, the two of you might be okay, but Cassandra's got to come down, please. Because I'm going to freaking die. Is Cassandra coming down? I really hope so. What the hell is that? Okay, all right. Cassandra? Oh my god, they're all just like shuffling on that. Ah, oh, I guess it's a solo operation today. Can't disrupt the rift. Now it's gonna be multiple people. I really need them to come down. They're like, it's... why? Cassandra, walk around or something. Oh, you can just jump. We okay. must have done enough to draw the attention of the clerics by now. Shouldn't we meet with them? No, I'm busy. Solas, be quiet. We're dealing with your precious rift and breach stuff. So they don't know how to jump down themselves. You can make them jump down, but it's not a, a normal thing. Come on! Get it! Good enough? Who's left? You all need to jump down. Just... Just jump. It's not that big of a deal. Thanks. Everyone, do stop! Oh! Things are getting kind of hectic here. We alright? I feel like we're not doing that great. Oh, curse you! Close it! Thank you very much! Level 6. Good. At least we're getting some power for all this. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll just wrap around here and try to get the stuff that's in this one little bit. And do my level ups, but just give me a second here, alright? How do I get around to that area? Oh, we've got to find the rams too. Where are the rams? Right here! Right here. I'm sorry. Oh, the fennec. I didn't care about the fennec, but alright. Thank you. Six ram meat. Just a little bit more. The refugees are starving. They're waiting. Astrarium. The shard. Okay. What is that? Like a pickaxe? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. No. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Boom, 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 boom. A boat? A ship? Constellation, Perakilalis, referred to as Voyager in common parlance. The constellation Perakilalis is commonly depicted as a ship, no ordinary ship, but rather the primitive vessel sailed by ancient people such as the Necromanians. The translation from ancient Devine is usually across the sea, and lends credence to the idea that Necromanians came to Thetis from elsewhere, although most reputable scholars dispute this. Especially considering those ancient peoples would likely have named these stars long before they undertook such a voyage. Huh. 
And that's two of them. We just need one more. We see it already. Probably have it on the map. Yeah, it's all around there. Does this go away? Am I done with it? I'm not sure. It seems like it's still here for now. Where did we see the very first one? It was like all the way... Oh, it's all the way back here. Oh, uh, maybe in the middle, it points to some treasure. The point where they all intersect or something. Okay. Let's get this if we can. Failure to deliver. This is the one note that we picked up about how some dwarf was supposed to send a package, but then they just died, probably. We can ignore that. <laughs> Can we? We might not be able to. Maybe this is why the dwarf died. We should search the area. Ring of Sundering. The package. 164 gold. Carta... Coat. Oh, that was the package in question. There we go, we got it. Alright. Did only I level up? Oh, just me? Not anyone else? Okay. Let's see. Was I working towards anything in particular? Maybe something... Well, I was having Solus work on that. I don't know. Dispel... Magic. But I have to start... Oh, I only have this one so far. So I have to, like, get one of these ones. Maybe this one then. Don't attack me. And then next time we'll get the spell magic. I'm not even sure if it's gonna be any good, but hopefully it'll be fine. No one else has points? Nope. Not at the moment. Okay. There was a package. Can I get the two landmarks here first? I'm not sure why the mouse seems to glitch out every now and then, and it just like causes the entire screen to um, seize up and we end up looking at something else completely different. It's not me, it's whatever it's doing. Don't kill the Druffalo here, these are friendly Druffalo. I think it's time you stopped playing the wounded party with me, Varric. Ignoring the times you actually wounded me? I did no such thing. I questioned you and then brought you to Haven so you could tell your story to the Divine. Oh, what then? Thanks, Varric. We believe you. See you around. Do not pretend to be an innocent bystander. I could have done far worse with full justification. Oh, yes, thank you for not torturing me. I'm so much happier now. I hope we have some new party members soon. <laughs> That's all I can say. Tirida's lover, Dennett. I don't care if it's the best land on the farm. The farmers remember the old ways and the old blood and will honor that. Just as I honor you twisting the old horseshoe nails into circles and sneaking them into the horse's saddles for luck. Oh. If the farmers want to leave that tree to honor Tirida's leaf-eared lover, we'll let it be. And whatever we lose from the land, we'll gain in loyalty. If I come back and find the tree gone and you and Braun blustering some story about it falling in a storm, I'll get the truth from Sienna, and you'll be sleeping in those stables you love so much. All my love, Elena. <laughs> oh, this is written pretty recently by the wife. This tree? Are you talking about this one? And then one more here. I guess that's gonna have to wait till later then, huh? Until we get the perk. But still pretty satisfying to see that after we get this one, this immediate area will be cleared out. Yeah, we can start working on the hinterlands and little chunks like that, maybe. That'll probably be more manageable. Ooh! Rams! Live rams! Non-dead rams! They can take you! Oh, get that one too! Can we get it? 
entire Inquisition party chasing after one lamb. Did you get it? Did it just disappear? I hope not. Oh, come on, guys. You got it? Not even sure if the landmark is around here. Well, we have a cave! Oh, that's new! No, 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 I'm gonna get distracted. Hold up, okay? Just give me one second here. Oh, that's a fennec! That's a fennec! There's a fallen chest. Where am I? Close by to the landmark, but not close enough. Eight out of ten. Just need a little bit more. Okay, here we go. What is this? Oh. Is that... Tirida? Tirida? Oh, Maferath. Maferath, repentant. A statue of Maferath grieving after the death of his wife, the prophet Andraste, whom he betrayed out of jealousy. Ah, hard to win if your opponent is the maker. But betraying your wife, not a cool thing to do. Okay. Well, I guess we can check out the cave while we're here. But look, though. Look, it's significantly prettier than before. It's kind of clear now. Until we go into the cave and discover there's like 20 million new things. Great. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, okay, it's a small cave. Just for materials? Okay, in that case, let's get out of here then. Call it a wrap on this section. Next time we come back, maybe we'll take another section and just get rid of it. I wish we could toggle some of these. This one we'll have to wait. This is the level 12 rift. That's just a little bit too much for me. Next time maybe we'll do the other Asterium so that Astrarium so that we can get all of them. Mm-hmm. Anything I need to do right away? I don't think so. Although people did tell me, didn't Sola say yes? He said that there's an artifact in the hinterlands he wishes to study. Should I do that? That does seem like it'll be interesting. So I don't mind doing this now. Hmm. Check it out. Well, you know what? Let's. Can we go around? Can we go behind us like that? Hopefully. Wait. It's in the back here. There's too many refugees out here. Reminds me of Kirkwall during the Blight. There's too many refugees everywhere, just because the world kind of sucks right now, in general. There's the Astrarium. Not where we're trying to go. But if we want to go up there... <gasps> I'm sorry, buddy. No hard feelings. Oh, there's the other one. My last one. Don't run. Don't run. Come here. I won't hurt you. Sorry, that's a lie. Oh, I missed! I missed! Keep going. There we go. Sorry. But it had to be done. Fantastic! Now I'm trying to figure out how to get around here, because it doesn't seem like it's just walking around. Maybe if we go from the crossroads, which I want to go to the crossroads right now anyway, because I'd like to give the meat to the hunter guy. Can we? Huh. Nothing to report, sir. Well, not like that. <laughs> I could feed half this camp if the hills weren't full of demons. I got the ram meat. Hey, maybe this will help. It more than helps. With this, I can fill these hungry bellies, give these folks some hope. I didn't think much of the Inquisition, but no one else is helping like you lot. 
Maybe I was wrong. Come join us. I pass round what you found. No one will go hungry. Good, good. I'm so glad to hear. And then I was thinking... If we want to get to Solus's thingy... Because we haven't been this way before. Just continuing Seems on this path. What did I tell you? Thank you. Many goods here. How's my inventory looking? We're alright. I was just worried that we had to clear our inventory before moving forward. We haven't actually picked up a lot of new stuff. It was a lot of walking around for shards and all that. Crossroads. East Road. And Reckliff Village. Hello? Let. Watch yourself. Bandits up ahead. Or something anyway. They're blocking the road. What can you tell me about the attackers on the road? Several groups. Some of them with bows. They've got better armor than most around here. It's too many for us. If you head out there, careful you don't get flanked. They don't take prisoners. You don't think they're bandits? Bandits wait until people are vulnerable. Then hit them fast so nobody escapes. These bastards show themselves too early. They care more about driving people away than taking loot. They're either stupid, or they're more than just bandits. And they're too well armed for stupid. We'll check it out. Thanks for the warning. It happens to be in the way of us trying to find Solus's thing. <laughs> Feel like I'm starting to... I'm beginning on the path of spending more time in the hinterlands again. You know what? I'm actually okay with it though. I now I, I'm a little bit more used to it. The rhythm of what's going on here. What the hell is that? Okay, well, I guess we gotta go this way. Bandits! Bandits! You guys ready? Let's go. Bandits ahead! Get them all. Hello, hello, hello. Don't Kill hit me. They could take you. Thank According you. According to my research, the ancient elves may have set up wards near here. If we can find the artifacts they used, it may help strengthen this area against tears. Yep, that's what we were on the way of doing. Oh, those people are. Disappearing into thin air. The bandits aren't done just yet, right? There's more... Yeah, there's more of the bandits. But the veil... Well, I think we'll be seeing this on along the way. Oh. What? Wait, who is that? Friend or foe? Why is it not dying? Friend or foe? Hi. And Duran Atishan. I did not expect to see another Dalish blood here. My name is Miris. By your weapons, I see you come ready for battle. Perhaps we face a common enemy in these demons. Are you fighting the demons on your own? Fighting the demons is pointless. There will always be more. And I have no means of closing the rifts. But I have heard of elven artifacts that measure the veil. They may tell us where new rifts will appear. I was not expecting so many demons, however. I believe one of the artifacts is nearby. Can you help me reach it? Who's gonna take the artifact after that? You? Because I want it too. Uh, we'll see. It sounds worth investigating. Thank you. It shouldn't be too much farther ahead. I don't think she knows I'm the Herald. Thank you for joining me. I do not think I could have done this alone. Are you alone alone? What took you away from your clan? They were all killed. By a demon that our Keeper was foolish enough to summon. I am the only survivor of Clan Vernen. I was searching for another clan that would take me in when the breach appeared. Now, I'm doing whatever I can to help with this madness. Oh, you should join us then. You should join us. 
So that's this, right? Bandits can... Um... Do you mind if I go back and deal with the bandits quickly? Because it looks like we can set up camp here. Setting up camp here means we can come back here later. Or whenever, really. Just a very quick detour because these bandits are... ruining my day. And everyone else's days. You would wish for people to band together in times like this, but no, no, no. Everyone always takes advantage of it for their own gain. What the hell is that? Just an outlaw? Now there's more than one, of course. Well, these are the bandits? I don't think they are. I haven't been using flash fire much. Yeah, because they run away. Thank you. An unsigned letter on a bandit body. We don't need any heroes on this operation. We're being paid to keep things quiet and keep trade away from the East Road. When reasonable, allow targets to flee and spread word of the danger in the area. When such is unreasonable, kill all targets, regardless of colors flown. Who hired them? Yeah, they're not even the bandits I was thinking about. Were they? No, these are the bandits. Rebel Queen's Ravine! Rebel Queen, can we do this? Is that lady still with us? No, she's elsewhere, because she's like, What? I thought you were gonna go do the thing, but you're not. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to, like, use my skills a little bit better. Can I use flash fire on- Whoa. Someone was doing a lot of damage on me. Varric! One more for me! Good. That wasn't too bad. Nug totem. More power. More nug totems. Were these nug believers? We could make camp here? Yes. That was my plan. An unsigned letter in the hinterlands. Preliminary digs have been more than successful. It's extremely surprising to find such a high quantity of the product this close to the surface. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was growing. On one hand, this gives us an advantage. Without having to work with the old families back in Orzammar, or even take this through official guild channels, our families stand to make a killing. On the other hand, the proximity to the surface and to the populated areas of Red Cliff raises an interesting challenge. The war between the mages and the Templars should keep people out of the area for now, but as soon as the humans are done trying to kill each other, any operation we start will be uncovered. If we're going to take advantage of this opportunity, we need to keep people out of the area. I'd recommend manufacturing some bandits. This part of Ferelden is lousy with them, so they shouldn't attract much attention, and nobody will have trouble believing that bandits would stake out some territory. By the time anyone uncovers the operation, it'll either be tapped out, in which case we'll be gone, or we'll have the operation running smoothly, in which case we'll be wealthy enough to deny everything and throw some money at the throne by way of apology. Talk to the families and make it happen. This is too good to pass up. What is it? Mining? Digging? Just... right here? Ooh, this is somewhere else. No, let's get the camp. Good. Yeah, if we keep going this way, this is some other camp. But as long as we got the camp, that's the important thing. Let's get back to maybe... This one here? Is a lady still there? <laughs> Hopefully. The pillars around here. Are they naturally forming? They seem so square. No, there's some... This leads somewhere. To the world map. Oh, Drakestone! We need Drakestone! Got it. It's rare stuff. Orders. 
The patrol pattern is not negotiable. Upon any encounter resulting in injuries, mark trail and withdraw to the villa. We must remain in fighting condition to apply appropriate force and keep refugees clear from the area. Doesn't matter, you're all dead. I'm sorry, lady. Yes, you're here. Sorry about that. You want to get going? All right. But who's going to take the artifact, though? Because it sounds like she wanted it. Energize. Uh... How do we do that? Oh, was it just a matter of distance? Like, I gotta get closer? Huh. Oh. Hi. Get him. One down. Be careful, Cassandra. I've wondered, how did you know to approach us, Solas? The breach opened, we were scrambling and barely had time to think, and there you were. I went to see the breach for myself. I did not know you would be there. You must not have been far away. I was not. I'd come to hear of the Conclave, but did not want to get close. Hmm. Lucky for us, then. You came for the Conclave? I'm surprised that you wouldn't be coming for the Breach directly, because he's so learned with the Fade that I thought we, he would have some special sources to know that when a Breach was going to happen or something. Check out this statue. The thing is holding its own head. What manner of fire is that? I have heard of this, but never seen it before. It is called Veilfire. It is a form of sympathetic magic. A memory of flame that burns in this world where the veil is thin. The veil is thin here. Gotta read some entries later on. I've been putting off reading codexes. Hi! Can I fight like this? Maybe not. If only I had some mana potions right about now, huh? That'll make waiting for abilities a little bit less painful. Um. There. If we activate hmm. that crystal, it should react to the strength of the veil. I don't know about this lady being with us, actually. There's only one artifact. I can feel another of the elven artifacts. This is gonna start another collectible thingy, isn't it? Versolas. <laughs> okay. Money? The statues are scary. Can I have that loot? Thanks. Ready? Yes. The wards are helping to strengthen the veil. This area should be safer for travelers now. Well, that should prove useful. And it seems the ancestors left something for me as well. Interesting. I believe our alliance is concluded. Go in peace, stranger. Let's talk to Solas first. What did you pick up? Mahalani, Maglandeval. Vienna Celine. I... Perhaps you're right. What? Here, take it. Go with Mithal's blessing. What? Okay, I don't know what he said to her, but she gave it to us willingly without us having to um, kill her or hurt her. That's good enough with me, I suppose. Kind of awkward that I'm Elvin and I don't understand what he said. <laughs> Amulet of power. I don't think that was actually like um like an elven artifact from a narrative perspective, but from like a gameplay perspective, it was just an accessory, right? <gasps> Gain an ability point when equipped. Varric only. Oh. Well you're in luck today, Varric. It's gone. 
Soul is only. He can't use it yet. Yeah, enhanced poison weapons ring. Oh, so this one... Enhanced poison weapons ring. Enhanced spinning blades ring. The ability is called poison weapons. The ability is called spinning blades. So if Varric doesn't have these abilities, it doesn't count. Like, it doesn't do anything for him, unfortunately. Oh, just stuff it in here for now. He's never gonna have blades. Ring of Barrier Penetration. Ring of Sundering? Well, I mean, these ones would probably do a little bit better for him, because it would activate at least. Amulet of Cunning, here for you again. Yeah, um... Barrier. Okay. Sure. So that's that for now. These are rogue only, but we don't even have these abilities on anybody, right? I think we can move them to valuables. But not the Amulet of Power, of course. That's a free AP. I wish we could lock it. But we can't. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Veil Fire. I can't read about Veil Fire because I don't know which one it is. Magic! We read this one. Dwarven Runecraft? This one we read as well. Yeah, these are ones that came up while we were walking around in the world. Oculera! A skull set upon a staff. These macabre artifacts cause magical shards in the area to glow with magical radiance when a viewer looks through the eyes of the skull. Spirits and demons. When I first summoned her, she was a rose, unwithering, unchanging, and unthorned. A spirit of the purest love one knows, who never hated, coveted, or scorned. A second time I drew her across the veil, and shared a walk, a dance, a stolen kiss. With such a perfect beauty, pure and pale, no woman could compare, no man resist. Then in my weakness, I essayed a third, though magisters their warnings did impart. She broke my binding with a single word, and said smiling as she clutched my heart, Though love I was, your passion's changing fire has forged a spirit into cruel desire. And that's why you don't try to date spirits across the veil. Never ends well. The Breach What does it mean to pierce the veil, that which separates our world from the realm of dreams and demons? For the average man and woman, it is a frightening thought to consider just how fragile this separation actually is. The veil is not a physical curtain, not a structure limited to a particular place. It is everywhere. It is in their home, in the streets where they walk, in farmers' fields as well as remote mountain veils. At any moment, it could be torn to shreds, allowing demons and other horrors to flood into our world, like water, through a burst dam. Known lore tells us that small rifts can be sealed, but what about a large one? What if some catastrophic magical event created a rift so large and horrific it weakened the integrity of the veil as a whole? Such a breach would threaten our entire world, turning concerns about occasional demonic intrusion into a charming anecdote compared to the monsters we would face then. If there is anything to be done, any reason we should look at magic with fear, it is for that possibility more than any other. But we can't do anything about that. Oh, it's like he's reaching into the veil here. Ooh. We can try to make our magical defenses stronger. But if it happens, it happens. <laughs> Pretty much. Archers. To fight an enemy with a bow or crossbow is simple, although not always easy. A guard with a crossbow must crank his weapon after each shot. If there is only one such enemy, seek cover and give him cause to waste his shot, and then close upon him before he may fire again, if there are many. Close to their flanks so you face one guard directly, using him as a second shield, and no other guard has a clean shot at your unprotected back. Do not move to the middle of their ranks and rely upon them hesitating to risk hitting one another. A soldier with a short bow is a little more dangerous. Attack him as you would an enemy with a crossbow, but accept that he will likely fire again. Approach with your shield up, even if you must sacrifice speed. Few soldiers are true masters of the bow. Those who do not fumble their draw in fear will fire a shot quickly, so it is more likely to glance off your armor or shield than punch through. Few soldiers have the skill or strength to make good use of a longbow. Respect those who do. Against such an enemy, cover is the only defense. Move quickly across his field of vision, forcing him to compensate for your movement, 
Do not charge directly unless your allies can distract him. A fully drawn longbow can drive an arrow through a chevalier's plate at 100 yards. A fight between an archer and a chevalier is a test of cunning versus patience. We are too often patient, heavily armored as we are, and faced with lightly armored foes who would harass us. While archers frustrate me as they do most chevaliers, it is good that we fight them, so we remember how to be cunning, how to break an opponent's patience. Written by Swordmaster, Masashi de Jean Mine. For chevaliers? Hmm. Just archers in general, not demonic ones. Horse Master's notes on mounts. Okay. Let's... Yeah, let's move away from the hinterlands again for now. I think that'd be good. But where do we want to go? Val Royo immediately. The Fallow Mire. Yeah, this is the other thing that we finished looking at. Um, I'm hesitant to go there before I finish up hinterlands. We have 18 quests here. <laughs> let's go to Val Royo. How's that sound? Oh, who are these places? I don't know. Lions and stuff. Let's go back to Haven. Quests. Modify armor. Make some armor. I don't know if we can. By the way, last time when I was talking to Liliana, I think I didn't finish up her dialogue tree specifically yet, so if we could talk to her again, that would be great. Anything new from anybody? Yes. I honestly don't remember if these are new or not. <laughs> um, Can you tell me more about the Seekers? The Seekers of Truth were born from the original Inquisition long ago, when it united with the Chantry. Seekers stood above the Templars, watching over them but also investigating magical events they couldn't handle. We were meant to be incorruptible, above reproach. How seldom does reality match the ideal? How do you feel about that? How does someone become a Seeker? Most Seekers begin training in their youth. I was much older, an exception due to my noble birth. We train rigorously for years. Our bodies and minds must be elastic to undergo the vigil, and most fail even then. Is the vigil some kind of initiation? It is the rite every seeker must go through in order to summon their gifts. A full year of fasting, prayer, and separation from all distractions, including other people. Oh, wow. We empty ourselves of all emotion, focusing only on the purity of our devotion. And the moment it finally ends, it's wonderful. Faith realized. I cannot put it into words. Oh, I thought it would be wonderful because you can actually eat again and see people again. No, that's too lowly of me to think that. She sounds so hardcore. I wish I could experience that. If the vigil was not so arduous, I'd say more should attempt it. What if mages never needed to fear possession by demons? I'm told it is impossible, however. I suppose I'll never know the truth of it now. But what are Seekers exactly? Those who know anything of us think we are Templars. We do not use Lyrium, however. Our abilities are different, as was our original purpose. We disciplined the Templars and were accountable only to the Divine and not even her, truthfully. Hmm. So the Seekers commanded the Templars? Not quite. No, the Order didn't assume command until after the Rebellion. The Templars have always feared us. When a Seeker arrived at a circle, they knew trouble was afoot. That kind of power is troubling. You begin to think you are the only one who can solve the world's problems. If you don't see a problem, it doesn't exist. If someone insists it does, they are the blind ones. Do you think that kind of problem could ever be fixed? Possibly. Though the Seekers themselves would need to change. They were clearly not willing to, even though they abandoned everything they stood for to avoid it. In my heart, I believe they can still be salvaged. 
but not by their own hands. I'm curious about these abilities that you supposedly have. Magical ones? You mentioned that Seekers have different abilities than Templars. Entirely. A Templar's abilities come from Lyrium and are designed to hunt mages. Ours come from ritual and many years of dedicated training. We cannot be possessed by demons and are immune to mind control. Useful considering our role. Seekers can gain other gifts, though that depends on the individual. What kind of gifts do you have? I can set the lyrium within a person's blood aflame. Oh my Most god. mages and Templars bend before my will. Some Seekers use it to interrogate, others simply to paralyze. Once there was a Seeker who could use it to kill. That particular gift is considered rare. And dangerous. Wow. That's... That's a lot more than just, you know, trained knights. You guys have actual concrete abilities. Why did your order turn against the Chantry? We originally united with the Chantry through a treaty that stated they would keep mages under control. It was felt Most Holy had tacitly allowed the Circle of Magi to vote on its independence, thus breaking the treaty. The Seekers saw themselves as justified, and they led the Templars into a war of righteousness. You sound like you disagree. We knew what was happening at Kirkwall, where the Mage Rebellion began. We looked into reports of Knight Commander Meredith's harsh treatment of her charges years earlier. But we found so many shocking cases of magical corruption, it was decided her actions were justified. Hmm. If we'd been there when it happened, if we'd looked harder at the root causes... I want to see how she'll react. Yeah, because, I mean, if Meredith didn't treat the mages like that, maybe things wouldn't have ended up this way in the end at all. Mages were oppressed. Hmm. What else did you expect? I expected us to do better. When faced with a problem, the Seekers would close ranks and crush it. We would find an answer, but only once we felt we weren't being coerced. The moment the mages voted for independence, our response was predictable. It was difficult to watch. I've no more questions. So Cassandra clearly thinks that there should be some sanctions for mages and stuff, but to what degree? To what degree? You know, that's that's a perfectly fine position to have. Greetings. Did we do these one? I feel like we've done this one, yeah. I have some more questions. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we talk about this now? Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Anthony. Another time, perhaps. Sorry for being pushy. I'll let you get back to work. Just kidding. Greetings. May I ask you about the Chantry? It is difficult to say what becomes of the Chantry now. They have no Templars, no leadership, and no one left who is worthy of succeeding the Divine. It has fallen apart when everyone needs it the most. I ache to think what this will mean in the days to come. Will the Chantry replace Divine Justinia? They will try. Once the priests withdraw for the Grand Consensus, it is against Chantry law for them to emerge without naming a new Divine. Sometimes it takes days, or weeks, or even months. The problem now is that no clear successor to Justinia exists. All worthy clerics died with her at the Conclave. So those priests are just stuck in there then? So what happens if they can't agree on someone? Theoretically, they will argue until exhaustion takes them or they see reason. Practically, however, if the Grand Consensus goes on too long, the Chantry will crumble. Any cleric with ambition but little sense will see this as her one chance, and plenty of such clerics exist. We shall see what happens. The Inquisition must act in the meantime. Yeah, we have to do something, because it seems like nothing is going to happen there. If they do choose a new divine, will you serve her? That depends on whether she would have me. I am a rebel now, remember? And even if she would, I do not know. It would depend on what type of divine she is. 
I am no longer in a position to follow blindly, and no new divine could expect such obedience now. That's probably a good thing. If a ambitious cleric, like you said, became a new divine, they might just be in it for the power. What influence does Chancellor Roderick really wield? He's a bureaucrat, responsible for communicating the divine's will to the rest of the Chantry. Therefore, he's accustomed to the clerics hanging on his every word, hoping his influence will benefit them. Despite that, Roderick is not a bad man. He's frightened and believes his place is to fill the gap left by Most Holy's death. Some might agree. As far down the chain of command as he is, there is no one left above him. How big a problem could he be? No more than he is already. He sent his message to the College of Clerics. That is the only card he had to play. Dealing with him further only lends him credibility he doesn't deserve. She's so calm and collected. We don't have to pay him any mind. Just let him speak his words and keep yapping. Do you really believe the Chantry is worth preserving? I do. Though I understand how someone born outside of human society might think otherwise. Cast the Chantry aside and new problems replace old ones. We will have learned nothing from history. The people need stability, and the Chantry needs a new purpose. Andraste had a dream for us. It can still be achieved. Yeah, we need something, I think. I agree with that. So, what should this new purpose be? A dedication to what is truly important. Instead of building cathedrals and sewing gowns for the divine, the Chantry used to spend its coin feeding the poor. If we are to spread the Maker's word across the world, we must do so with open hearts and open hands. That sounds rather idealistic of you. Does it? I do not think it's so unachievable. The Chantry has many good, honest people. They just need direction and inspiration. They need to be freed from centuries of adherence to tradition and ceremony. A chance for renewal is at our fingertips. It does not have to come with utter chaos. In a separate conversation with Liliana, Wellens is like, ideals are exactly what we need right now. And now we're talking to Cassandra about, oh, you seem too idealistic. In general, I do get the sense that mm, the dialogue wheel in the Inquisition seems to have less options that align with how I really feel. Sometimes they force me to pick a side in matters where I just don't feel strongly enough about either or, really. I'm surprised you rebelled against the Chantry. I left my own order when they took the wrong path. It is no different. But in neither case did I stop caring. Indeed, I care so much that I feel drastic action is necessary. I suppose history shall one day judge my actions. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you, Cassandra. That was a lot of new stuff. So over here, hold up. The oh. Have you seen the horses, Master Dennett, and the Inquisition? They're magnificent. He's right here. Then what you ride in Arnsberg? Well. <laughs> oh, you noble boys never change. <laughs> There's a buy and sell thing here. Taslin Strider. Oh, buying selling horses? Zero. Zero dollars. Feels good to be back at work, Inquisition. And lucky you have me. In lesser hands, you'd be in trouble. Haven can't support the mounts you need, but I can. How are your charges? Well supplied? Haven is groaning under the weight. It wasn't built for this, but we'll make it serve. Heard anything worth noting? Too busy to hear things, and that's how I like it. Keep at it then, thank you. Farewell. Make her be with you. He's working hard for us. Can we make any armor? Just to get the quests out of the way. Big strong men around in case anything happens here in Haven. Now don't you worry about that sort of thing, girl. Am I disturbing anything? <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, we're done. Goodbye. Right. I need an indication of whether the conversation's been taken before. Just graying it out, but they don't do that here. Modifying armor. I can't modify. Oh, I can modify the defender coat. 
Cassandra, oh, Cassandra only. But if, she's not even wearing it right now, though. But if she wears it, I can at least get the... No, 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 all I can do is remove the upgrade. That's all. If I remove it, does it kill the upgrade directly? Well, if she's not wearing it right now, I guess it's okay to remove it. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. What's the quest specifically? Make armor and modify armor. Modify meaning remove upgrade is a modify, right? That's a modification. Just to make sure Cassandra is not wearing... Cassandra? Yeah, she's not wearing that armor, her original armor. So we can just... Remove the upgrade, confirm changes. Good enough. Okay. And then making a brand new armor. Oh, didn't look at this last time. Crafting! Craft new armor or weapons, you need a schematic and the materials. Schematic determines the appearance and the potential power. Materials determine the stats. Can I compare this to what I'm wearing right now? Because I don't know what I'm wearing right now. Well, let's see. You need some For Wellens... At the moment, she has the Apprentice Armor, which is 75. Can we make something better than the 75? 89. 10 cloth, 4 leather. Anything better? No, these are sorted by... No, these are not sorted. These are not sorted. But this is a sturdy apprentice coat, probably what we want. I have the stuff. Crafting. There's five different types of crafting slots. Utility, offense, defense, damage, armor. This type of slot determines the stat that will be generated from the material placed in it. Iron in a defense slot gives a bonus to melee defense, while putting it in the utility slot gives it a bonus to strength. Experiment with different combinations to make stuff for your needs. Okay. Do I have these things? Each crafting material has predetermined stats for each possible type. The final value is determined by multiplying the value with the number of materials in the slot. Okay, okay, hold up. Cloth. Okay, so cloth is not an individual item. There's different types of cloth. I see. We've picked up a lot. Well, I have a lot of lamb's wool. Hmm, velveteen, silk, depends on what we want, I guess. I'll just start with the lamb's wool because we have the most of it right now. I don't want to spend nice materials on other stuff. Canine leather, ram leather, cold damage resistance. Okay, I'll just do this for now. Ice walker apprentice coat. We can rename it. Cool. Seems kind of complicated. I didn't understand the slot stuff. Like, what was the... The slot seemed like it was predetermined for me. I don't know how to pick it, but hey, we got it. It looks the same as what we have right now. Then I can junk this one, or does Solas want it? Solas, you want to wear something that looks exactly like me? <laughs> What does Solas normally wear? Apprentice coat? 40... yeah. Yeah, that's his default thing, but it's so bad. 43. Have my old one. It's a hand-me-down. Looks pretty similar anyway. Yeah, 75. These ones are Kunari... it's for Kunari-trained people only. That tells me that we're gonna get a Kunari-trained companion. Interesting wording, Kunari trained, but not a Kunari. Is that just saying Talvishoth? Because Talvishoth is not Kunari technically, right? <laughs> but we don't have that kind of companion right now, so we can just junk the stuff probably. I still want to keep the default stuff. I really hope we have a... Do we not have a storage somewhere? I want to just put this stuff away. Yeah. Well, and you want the hat? The hat not... Anybody need it? No? No? Junk it. Junk it all. 
Oh, there's an 80. Wait. It's the same. Same as what Varric is wearing right now. So junk it then. And I... Ah, uh, just, just junk this one, whatever. Whoa. <laughs> we might want to keep this one because it's Varric's default one. Mm. Cassandra? Would you like to... I wish there were more sorting options. You're wearing 82, so we don't need the 77. I'm really not digging this. Yeah, but it's purple. Oh, this is worn by Kunari officers. Hmm. Which is not appropriate for Cassandra to wear, really. I'll keep it for now, I guess. Alright, alright, alright. Warded helmet level 9? Oh, it's gonna be so long until we're level 9 that I don't feel like we should keep this. It's just more junk in the inventory. Level 6? Well, that happens soon. Oh, level 6 for me! Yes! Yeah. Alright. And then get this one away. Goodbye. Okay, we're, we're goodish for now. Carta coat. Dwarf trained only. Yeah, but that... See, that again, it's, uh... <sighs> it's better than what he's wearing right now. But now he looks even more like a cowboy. <laughs> okay, wear this one then. For now. Alright. Alright, just, just put it away. Thank you, thank you. So that's done. For the quests for now. Liliana! Can we please talk to Liliana? And everyone else, really. All men are the work of our maker's hands. From the lowest slaves to the highest king. Well, I don't know. Master Harry's hammers are good. To the least Those are the forging tools of an apprentice. Wouldn't you like to use the hammer of a master? Have you guys get some people trying to Greetings. negotiate the whole time here? No. Until later. Stay safe. To sell the crap mine leech staff. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just clearing out my inventory again. Hold up. Kinda feel bad about trying to sell the Ferelden Captain Longsword because Wallen's Kuzan's brother gave us that. <laughs> I <laughs> Yeah. I think we're good for now. The upgrade that we took off Cassandra's default armor earlier, I wonder if we can put it on the current armor that we're using. It seems like that might be possible, but I'm a little bit too lazy to test it out, so I'll leave it alone for now. Okay, hold up. I want to talk to Liliana first. Make sure we can check out the little bit we missed before. Hopefully. I did not see good Templars and evil mages in that circle, sister. About damn time. I saw prisoners and jailers. The prisoners learned fear, and the jailers cruelty. But the Templars served the Chantry. Until we asked them to be less harsh in their treatment of the mages, at which point they rebelled. I am not certain the Chantry should ever have been backed by blades. Yeah, that does seem a bit off, doesn't it? Did you need something? Hmm. They called you the left hand of the Divine. That they did. What of it? Yes, we didn't look at these ones. I could use the left hand of the Divine at my side out there. Yes. Every agent out in the world is my eyes, my ears, my blade. Wherever my people are, I am also. Coming with you, leaving my post, would blind and bow me. Do you see? But I miss you. I miss you as well as Kozland. What is the point of an Inquisition? Justinia would have started the Inquisition if the Divine Conclave failed to restore peace. She hoped that with enough support, we could challenge the very tenets of the Chantry. She wanted the Chantry to treat the mages fairly. But sometimes I wonder, why stop at mages? The Chantry has committed many injustices. If we're going to change it, why not change the whole thing? <sighs> it's just a thought. None of this will be possible if we fail. One step at a time? 
But it does sound like Liliana's hurting a lot over Justinia. I'm sorry she didn't live to see the Inquisition. So am I. We'll talk more later. I believe that was it. Yes? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Okay. I'll leave you to your work. Fantastic. And then was there... We've... We can do the Hinterlands Geological Survey now because we have the 5 Drake Stone and 10 Iron. Several Dwarven academics at the University of Orlais have requested samples of ore from the Hinterlands. Plus one power. Nice work. Very cool. Beric! Need something? No, this is all the same stuff, I think. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Yeah. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Wish the branches would just disappear if they're done. All right. What about Solus? He's kind of far How can away. We be so calm with everything we believe called into question. I don't need some old woman in Valroya to tell me how to worship the Maker. We tend the sick, feed the poor, clothe the naked, and sing the chant. Seeker Pentagast will attend to the rest. And make her forgive anyone who gets in her way. Good for you. Don't just listen to the Chantry. I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Valroya. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. Thank you. Thank you very much. Colin is the one person we haven't been able to speak at length with yet. Because that Chancellor has been bothering him. We haven't done a main thingy, so I don't imagine everyone's conversations would have changed too much. Greetings. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll talk later. Goodbye. It's just that for both Cassandra and Liliana I missed stuff before, I think. Flissa said to check with you to make sure these are safe to serve. They're fine. Nobody will take sick as long as she boils them right. Smart woman for asking, though. Good. Good. Everyone's working hard. Can we upgrade our potions? Ah, uh, we don't have Lyrium. We don't have Black Lotus. We don't even have the slot for the Lyrium, though. Healing potion, one Dawn Lotus. Okay, we can do this one. Yeah. Prophet's Laurel. Embryum. Keep an eye on those. 